Brooklyn Independent Television. Hi, I'm Thomas Kalfa. I'm the owner of Lassen & Hennigs in Montague Street in Brooklyn. The original owners are Lassen & Hennigs and they uh, started this business in 1949. It was just a traditional German deli. Our dad purchased the uh, business in 1969 from Lassen & Hennigs and eventually bought this building and built this store, moved it across the street. And my brother and I have uh, been running out our dad's business since we were 13 years old. And we've grown since. I need some on there. Julie, you got that? Um, hey, Chelsea. Good, good, you? Good. It's pretty balanced between, you know, store sales, catering, bakery sales. And they all complement each other. You know, we can offer things that people can't offer. You know, we can do special requests. So. With the amount of people that we have working here, we can get anything done. 60th anniversary. That's coming up next year. The last set of Hennigs may be the oldest deli in Brooklyn. I haven't found anything that's older, so as a delicatessen, as a traditional delicatessen. We have customers probably from the 40s, no, the 50s. There's a lot of great customers, a lot of great people around here. Didn't you take orders on phone over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. TR-56272. There you go. I remember that uh, the woman downstairs from me, uh, she used to, I used to always see a call and go, who are you calling? He said, Lassen and Hanks, they, they delivered the call on the phone. The good old days. <laughs> Gladys is making mayo-free tuna salad. Roast peppers, tomatoes, celery, onion, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of oil. This is vegetable lasagna, big big seller here at Lassa Hennings. Croom makes it all. What's the ingredients of vegetable lasagna? Mozzarella cheese, and uh, arugula cheese, parmesan cheese, heavy cream, eggs, and vegetables. Right now they're bringing it in, they, this is our expediting area and he's uh, setting up that order and so he's making sure everything is the way it should be. He'll get a delivery guy, he'll set it all up and send it. So over here we're doing, uh, we do a lot of baker, bake stuff. Do a lot of um, fresh challah bread, all fresh cookies. Yeah, so, uh, the history behind uh, the bakery was in the uh, mid 80s when there was the beer boom and the micro brews. I was very much into the micro brews, you know, and I had a great thing going. I had every kind of beer in the case and I had kept it all down here and I was the place to go get a micro brew if you wanted it. And so we used to get all these beers and this guy said, why don't you get rid of that and build a bakery? And I was like, and then we did the numbers and we figured it out and we built the bakery. And, it was the best move we ever made. Currently we have eight full-time bakers on staff and uh, we just, you know, we're running out of room. This is a red velvet cake. It's a red cake with a uh, cream cheese icing. Those are mini red velvet cupcakes. Brooklyn Heights is an interesting place as it has changed, but the growth has not changed because there never was a lot of places for developers to develop. So it's basically remained the same as far as the amount of people that live in the neighborhood. But on the other hand, the businesses have changed because of the values of the properties have gone up and um, your mom and pop's people can't afford the rents anymore. And uh, so now we're seeing a lot more influx of AAA tenants, national businesses, but my brother and I are pretty committed to keeping the business afloat and running as is, and um, we're hoping that maybe one of our one of my nephews might want to, you know, 
take over one day, but um, we'll see where that goes in years ahead. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.